Welcome back to RP Excellent. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a barcode using Excel. This is specifically a UPCA type of barcode. These barcodes were originally created for grocery stores to provide quick receipt, printing, and inventory tracking. After securing a UPC number, a manufacturer will receive a unique company number to combine with their individual product numbers. And we're not just going to create a barcode in Excel, we're also going to test it using a barcode scanner. As you can see in my screen, this is the barcode scanner that I have installed in my Android phone. And this is what we're going to use to test if our barcode is actually working. I have taken this product sample which will be scanned after scanning I'm gonna go ahead and click web search and check if it's gonna give me the correct product and it seems like it's giving me the correct product it's a picnic original and we're gonna enter the same product code in the barcode Excel so that's zero 74923 for the manufacturer code 40501 for the product code and the number 3 for the Medulu check once clicked on check you would see the numbers below that it's going to be updated as well as the lines in the barcode now I'm going to get my Android phone to actually test it and it should give me the same product type. There you go. So it's giving me the same product. It's a Picnic original. Therefore, the barcode in Excel is actually working. Now, let's jump into the system again and I'll show you how it's been created. There are easier ways of creating a barcode in Excel, but this one I thought is going to be fun and will let you practice your creativity in Excel. So here is how a UPC barcode looks like. We have one digit for the type of barcode. We have five digits for the manufacturer code. We have five digits for the product code and one digit for the modulo check. We also have the left line, center line, and right line. And these lines doesn't change at all. It's just there and doesn't depend on the codes. The type of barcode could either be zero for standard, two for weighed items, three for pharmacy, and five for coupons. Let me show you how the code works. Each number is being represented by seven codes. For example, for the manufacturer code, zero is equal to 0001101. So I'll create a portion of the barcode with seven lines. And I'll be using the columns for the seven lines. So I'll have F, G, H, I, J, K, and L. And I'm gonna go ahead and um, adjust the column width into, let's say, 2. Alright. And I'm gonna adjust, let's say, the fourth row. The height would be... 100 or let's make it 200 so again we have 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 if I select the number 4 with this code 0100011 the bars would look like this 0 means there's gonna be nothing and one means there's gonna be 
a bar so which means on our first column there will be no bar the second column will have a bar third fourth and fifth will be nothing and the last two will have this bar so if I select a zero it's gonna be different the first three columns will be nothing the next two will have bars second to the last will be nothing same thing goes with the product code so let me go ahead and remove this and let's see the selected number will be in this area so I'll merge the cells so if I type in the number let's say 5 and I'll just make it bigger All right I think that's big enough so let's see we have selected 5 it means that this is the code and if we're gonna follow this code it's gonna be something like a one zero zero one 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 zero so I have copied the code into the seven different columns and each code represents a bar one means that there is a bar and a zero means it's gonna be nothing so what I did is I have put a conditional formatting so I'm gonna select all of this and go to conditional formatting and let's see um, I'm gonna highlight the cells that are equal to one and make it black so I'm gonna go to fill color black there you go but if the cells are equal to zero I want it to have either white or no color and the font would be white there you go let's just say this portion is the product code and in the product code here we have five digits or five numbers so I'm just gonna copy this and ensure that I have five of this so we already have one this is two three four and five next is we're gonna adjust the column width I would say into one okay now we have five codes representing seven lines for each of the codes so if I say this is gonna be six I'll go ahead and remove everything on top for the moment and we're gonna copy this code it's gonna be one zero one zero 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 this is how six looks like in the product code so to create the complete barcode you're just gonna do the same thing for the manufacturer code and in the middle you're just gonna have a center line and in the left and the right line you're also gonna add those bars which are not affected or dependent on any type of codes and then we have the type of barcode outside the bars that we have same as for 
the medulla check. The type of barcode um, number is outside, but then the bars being modified is in this arrow. Same as for the medulla check, the number is here, but then the bars or the columns being controlled is in this area. Now let's go to code entry worksheet. So you'll see the barcode here and this is the part wherein it's connected to the macro. This is originally protected so that it won't be messed up but right now I have removed the protection and this barcode has an image on top of it so I'm gonna right click and show you the properties. Currently, I have set it up into a solid fill of white color and transparency is 100%. In this way, I'd be able to assign a macro. You can just right click on it and assign the macro. The macro that I have assigned in this one is just to show the user form and that user form is this one so this is the part wherein you'd be typing the product type manufacturer code product code and modulo check once entered you will just click on check and the numbers will be generated below and the bars will be updated accordingly let me show you some of the macros that I've created. So I'll go to developer tab and visual basic. So we have a total of 15 modules here. So for module one, for example, the codes listed here are the same codes I have shown you here, which is for the manufacturer code so zero is zero 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 one one zero one on our visual basic it's gonna be the same zero 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 one one zero one so everything from the first module up to the fifth module everything's gonna be part of the manufacturer code and from module six up to ten that's going to be part of the product code. Module 11 is going to be the type of barcode which is using the same set of codes for the manufacturer code. Module 12 is going to be the modulo check which is the same codes as for the product code. I'm going to share the link of this file in the description. If you're new in building macros, it would be good for you to download this file and play with it. If you already know how to create your own macro codes, you can get the idea from here and you could probably create a better and faster macro codes. If you think you have learned something new, please give this video a thumbs up if you want to see more videos like this, hit that subscribe and the bell button and in that way you'll be notified when my new videos come out. If you want to see me cover other tutorials, please leave a comment and I'll try to add it to my videos to create. That's all I have for now. See you next time.